In this video, we're going to take a look at how to align mathematics. Now, once again, we're going to use the AMS math package, very useful package, probably always worth having in your preamble. And um, we use what's called the align environment. Now, this is already a mathematical environment, so you don't need a, a slash square bracket in front of it or something like that. Um, and then we can just start typing. So x plus h, this is a very, you do this in, if you're trying to calculate the uh, derivative of x squared from first principles, uh, minus x squared, and then we're going to have ampersand, and this ampersand again, we're getting used to this now, is to tell us where something begins. Um, and we go, okay, well that is just equal to x squared plus 2 times x times h um, plus h squared minus x squared. And then here I would just end the line. And now I'm going to keep it tidy, so I'm going to indent. You don't need to indent for the code to work, but I'm going to indent. And then this all simplifies out as 2xh plus h squared. Hoping I haven't typed any nonsense. And, uh, and let's see what this looks like. And what you should see there is the ampersands are aligning our equal signs. And we've also got these, these numbers that are appearing. Because I've ended a line here, it's expecting another line. So let's give it to it. Um, that's equal to h times 2x plus h. And I won't end the line. Um, we could include another set of ampersands, but this time a, do a double ampersand and include some text. So we're going to use text um, by distributivity, assuming I've typed that right. And we'll do the same now. Um, text by subtraction. And um, text by factorization. Now let's take a look at what that does. And what you can see is that the text is beginning to appear and the text will also be aligned because the double ampersands are, are indeed are aligning. Now, um, you can see the numbers have appeared for all of them. We could include a slash no number, which would make one of the numbers disappear. And then similarly as before, if we have numbers, we can reference them. So I'm gonna have a label, um, my favorite step, and I really like getting to equation ref my favorite step. So whilst I was typing that, the previews updated, you see um, that that has disappeared because I've got a slash no number there, but we'll also see appearing now that I can also reference um, equations within my line environment. 